I have shopped at Tory Burch for over 20 years. The last experience was enough to say goodbye. I'm getting so frustrated at the lack of effort from Tory Burch. I'm done with it and I want a refund. This is an expensive brand and should do a lot better. I'm never ordering again from Tory Burch. These are from the Trustpilot reviews of Tory Burch. Yes, the esteemed American brand that currently competes against giants like Coach, Michael Kors, and Kate Spade. Even though throughout its history, Tory Burch's eponymous brand has faced a lot of backlash for cultural appropriation and design theft, I am only now seeing all these negative comments about the brand's quality and poor customer service. But what the hell happened to this famous American brand? How did it fall from the grace so harshly? Well, here's the rise and fall of Tory Burch. Tory the incredibly talented and successful American designer Tory Burch of the Tory Burch Empire. To be honest with you, I have been wanting to make this video ever since I read about a terrible Tory Burch experience on Reddit. This customer talked about her experience on a handbag subreddit. Apparently, she was looking to buy a birthday present for her mom, and her budget was somewhere between $300 and $700. But when she went into a Tory Burch store in New York City and told the sales associate her budget, she received a ridiculous answer that they didn't have any bags in that price range. The customer picked up a bag closest to her and asked, what about this one? And the sales associate said, it's around $400, which was well within her range. So why did the sales associate behave that way in the first place? What was her purpose? And the majority of you must know that most of their purses are around $300 to $500. Of course, the customer walked out and contacted customer service for the essay's behavior. Reading this made me so angry and it made me look at other experiences at Tory Burch stores and I saw many, many comments very similar to this. The online shopping experience doesn't look good either. Let's look at the history of Tory Burch and then see what types of reviews the brand has been getting that are definitely hurting its reputation as a trusted American brand. This shouldn't be a surprise that Tory Burch, not the brand, but the person behind it, was born into a rich family, an investor father and an actress mother. Before she started her own fashion line, she worked for other designers and magazines. She was a writer for Harper's Bazaar and worked in public relations and advertising positions at Vera Wang, Ralph Lauren, and even Loewe. She started her own fashion line in 2004. It was first named TRB by Tory Burch, but she later changed it to Tory Burch, which was the best decision she made, if you ask me. After she opened her flagship store and online website, she even got an endorsement from Oprah, who called Tory Burch the next big thing in fashion. And Oprah was right. Especially with her famous Riva Ballet flat, her designs were deemed instant classics and became highly popular. Do I need to talk about that Gossip Girl cameo, which again proves that she was immensely popular? Everything from the brand's clothes to its shoes and from its sunglasses to handbags were revered highly by critics and the public alike. And the result is now Tory Burch's company is worth more than $3.5 billion. She has more than 370 stores across five continents. This is a success story, no one can argue with that. But some people think that if a brand reaches this level of success, drops in quality and service are included in the next step. If a brand wants to earn lots and lots of money, then it has to compromise on something because it wouldn't be able to provide both quality and quantity at the same time. Now, I somehow agree with this because look at Hermes. Because they want to preserve the quality of their bags, they are playing these mind games with their customers to make it harder for them to buy their bags. Since their bags are low in number, they can only go to a certain number of people. Although a little messed up, this allows them to protect their brand image as a company that cares the most about its bags quality. They are now the world's second most valuable luxury brand as it's worth $218 billion. No matter how much you hate the design of a Birkin or how difficult it is to buy one, can you really say anything about its quality? I don't think so. But you see, a lot of customers have a lot to say about Tory Burch's quality. There are hundreds of online comments about how the leather they use for their bags is extremely prone to scratches. The same quality issues go for the brand's accessories as well. One reviewer on Trustpilot said that a Tory Burch necklace she has worn less than five times is already missing five diamonds. Another user said a $145 ring they ordered fell apart within two hours. The shoes are not different. Bad quality. You're paying for a name and nothing else. These are my third pair of Tory Burch shoes that have torn, the sole come unglued, gold embellishments have fallen off after two to three wears. The quality is shocking, even though the fit and comfort is great. Why sell at a premium then? There are also negative reviews about late shipments and poor customer service, as I mentioned in the beginning. To me, that doesn't make sense in the fact that Tory Burch is not just another brand. It is considered a mid-luxury brand and most of its bags are not really that cheap. Its latest trendy mini Eleanor satchel is $548. 
The Eleanor bag is even more expensive at $748. I know that these numbers are quite reasonable in comparison to high-end luxury brands, but for the average consumer, these are still major numbers that take a lot of consideration before making the splurge. So if you're selling your bags for this amount of money, I would expect fewer quality issues and more customer satisfaction, to be honest. But Tory Burch seems to be lacking that department lately, as the 1.8 trust pilot rate clearly shows. Does this mean all Tory Burch products are bad and you never get good service though? Of course not. I do believe that negative experiences can be overstated at times since they are more likely to be talked about and discussed on review websites and social media. And I've received many good comments about the brand under my videos. I even mentioned the brand's two beautiful bags in two of my videos. So I definitely have respect for Tory Burch and love its designs. I just wanted to talk about some of the comments and negative reviews I saw so that it would help people who want to think before buying something from the brand. Personally, I would just warn anyone who especially wants to purchase a soft leather bag from Tory Burch, as I saw comments about it being easily scratchable despite a low number of wears. Other than that, go for it, especially if you can visit one of their stores, though I can't guarantee you'll get the best service. Maybe don't tell them your price range. <laughs> If you want to see more Tory Burch bags I would recommend, you should go and check out this video where I talked about tote bags, including the Ella Bio bag from the brand. I even styled it for you, so you're lucky if you're thinking of buying one for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to my perspective. See you soon!